Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl, Lachey Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today we're going to talk about how to change. Well, first, you have to want to change. Because it's a lot of people who say, well, change, change, change. They talk about how change is really important and how they want change. But they're not willing to do what it's going to take to change. So, the real question is, do you really want change? And are you willing to make the actions it's going to take to get the change you want to see? See, we all complain about things. We nag, we complain, we um, just go on about stuff. But what's the point in doing all that? Is it is it changing quicker? Is it is change happening from nagging or complaining? No. Change only happens when you take the initiative or take the actions to work on something that isn't working for you or you're not satisfied with. And you take the appropriate steps and measures to make things happen for yourself. So first is actually wanting to change. Do you really want to change or is it just something that just comes out your mouth? Is it just something that you just say to hear yourself talk? Is it something you really want? You got to know that you want change in order for you to change. Are you coming to, and then two, you have to be so tired of getting the same results. You have to be so tired of being tired to the point where you're completely certain that you want this change, that you want to make a difference in your life, but others' lives too. But it starts with you first. So in order for one to even... Be willing to change. One has to really want it. And one has to be so tired of what they've been used to. Tired of the same results. Tired of all the things that they've been going through. That they start to think. There's something. It got to be something better. It got to be something so much more greater than what I'm experiencing. I know there's something more out there. Right? You have to be tired of what you're used to in order that you may change your improper um, habits or patterns, right? So you got to be tired of what you're doing. Then three, you need to um, figure out what it's going to take for you as a person. So what is um, the things that you're experiencing? Like, what is it that you want to change in general? Like, what is it specifically? Identify what specifically it is that you need to change as an individual. And after you identify what it is that you want to change, then the fourth step is identifying what it's going to take. So what is the process of making this change happen, right? What is the steps? What is the um, thing that you're going to have to do in order to make all that happen, right? After you figure out the process you need to go to the fifth step, which is personal development. So what is it you have to work on as a person in order to make that change happen? So what is it that you struggle with? Is it your heart? Is it your fixed mindset? Is it your spirit or is it the way you talk? Is it what you speak about things or is it your nagging or is it your complaining? What is it that you specifically, is it your self-doubt, your self-talk? Is it that type of stuff? So what is it specifically you need to work on as a person? That is number five. Because you can identify things. You can know the process. You can want the change. Um, you can speak about change. But if you are not willing to work on the things within yourself that's going to push you to be the greatest person you can be in order to obtain the change in which you seek, you can't obtain what you want. Six is after you figure out all that and you started working on the things that's been holding you back within yourself, the things that you need to work on. You've been practicing. Um, you're constantly doing this uh, repetition, new, you know, this new habit that you're creating, this new pattern that you're making for yourself. You're putting something new in your life. You're learning. You're studying. You're figuring out what's going to work in order for you to obtain the change in what you seek as a person. And as you're working on that, and then this become repetitious for you, become second nature as well. Um, uh, number seven, right? And after you've gotten through all that, seven is just you taking massive actions 
in all aspects of your life to make sure that when you identify or acknowledge the fact that you need something in your life to be changed, that you act accordingly to that thought or that feeling like, oh my God, I'm so tired of this. Like I'm so tired. And you, and you, if you ever get to the point where you complain or nag or just you're tired of something, right? If it's not something that you can change and if, if it's not something you can't change, do not complain about it, okay? Just let be and let God, okay? Secondly, if it's something you can change, stop complaining about it. Stop complaining, stop nagging, stop whining, stop crying, stop pitying yourself. And you take the massive actions that is going to require you to make this happen, right? You're going to take the steps. You're going to step up for yourself, right? Right. You're going to do this. Um, thirdly, you're going to stop making excuses. You're not going to, and you're going to be a solution driven individual. You're going to identify the problem. And you're going to find a solution. So going through all seven steps, you're going to figure out what it's going to take. You're going to have to want the change, right? Not only do you have to want the change, you got to be sure Sure about it. You got to be so tired of what you've been used to in order that you may change, right? Thirdly, you got to identify what it is that needs to be changed. Fourthly, you need to figure out what the process is that it's going to take for you to obtain that change, right? Fifthly, you need to figure out what stuff that you need to work on in yourself that is holding you back from obtaining or growing as a person to even get close to that change, right? Because it's you as a person that keeps you from anything that you desire in this life, right? Right. Um, six is just working on those inner things, right? Working on those inner things that you're struggling with as a person and making sure that you're taking the precaution and steps, right? Six. Or no, seven, my bad, seven. See, I'm, I got to write this stuff down. Um, seven is um, taking massive actions towards the things you want and being accountable for those things you want. So this is how you get to the change. This is how you get to those steps. But it change is a process of growth. It requires steps. It requires identification. It requires you acknowledging, not only acknowledging working on those things that you acknowledge is it, it requires you to get to a place where you're not overlooking the fact that you need a change in certain aspects of your life it's being really real really naked and really honest with yourself and being truthful about it because there's nothing wrong with needing needing change i need change there's some things that god needs to work on within me and i'm not ashamed to say that there's a lot of things that go on within myself that i don't fully understand but I want understanding and I want to change because some of those things affect my growth. Some of those things affect my ability to help people or help my ability to communicate effectively. So whatever it is that is hindering you, do your best to work on changing yourself, changing your mind, the way you speak, the way you, you know, feel about things, the way you go about things, your how. Really focus on yourself and center everything that is important to you and align it with that change. Because if you're not doing it for something very powerful, what is your reason? What is your why? What, what is your how? And I, you got to know these things in order to even, you know, begin to change. So peace, love, and happiness. I hope you guys have an abundant day. Any information you need about me will be in the description box below. If you love this content like I do, <laughs> comment down in the description box below. I love you guys. Peace. Let's have abundant opportunities because there's financial breakthrough. There's a lot of opportunities out here. Let's continue to grow as people. Let's continue to grind as people. Let's continue to make a way. And let's continue to believe in ourselves and love ourselves. All right. Love y'all.